Hello, happy holidays. I'm Heidi here at Simon Says Stamp, home office in Columbus, Ohio. Reed has artfully decorated our studio for the holiday season. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Have you guys done your decorating yet for the season? Do you put up a tree? Do you put up stockings? Do you do a menorah? Do you do lights? I'd love to hear from you all. I see the chats going. Hey, Stephanie's joining us live today too. Oh, if you're watching live, I did get permission from Steph. Steph's our marketing director here at Simon Says Stamp. At the end of our live today, I have a special that's only being announced right now on this live. So it's a, an early promotion. I texted her, actually, I actually called her on my way in today and said, you know, I'm in my car driving, but I had this idea. While we're live, don't you think it'd be really cool if we started one of our holiday promotions a little early for those that were able to join us live today? And she said, I think that's a great idea. So she texted me the code that I'm going to be sharing with all of you, and it's for a free gift. So at the end of today's live, I will be sharing that with you. I will also just remind everybody, if you were on our blog this morning, you probably have already seen, we have a special, Bonnie from Art Impressions drew this uh, cute little elf set with the dies included. Uh, it's called Christmas Train wasn't sure what we ended up naming it, but we have inspiration on our blog today. This is only available while supplies last. You'll see the, the cute little elf dies are packaged all together as one stamp and die coordinating set. Really cute for the holiday season. If you like these merry elves, this is a good time for you to, to snag them. Art Impressions has done something special with us. Oh, probably the last, four or five years for the holiday season and we just want to be able to give you guys something extra exciting and show our appreciation for you and it's fun when we get to collaborate with another brand especially somebody like Art Impressions where Bonnie is actually the illustrator and the owner of the of the company Art Impressions so it's a nice family business that we're grateful to, to work with. I see you guys all joining us in live. I'm not Oh, oh, I hear some people. The tree will be up the 23rd of December. I've got my tree up at my house. We've got a tree, some of our trees up here at Simon Says Stamp. My kids like stockings. And one of the things we're going to show to you today in this live are some stocking stuffers. We've worked really hard over the last probably year and a half to curate some stocking stuffers for our crafty friends. And back to Steph, a few years ago, I don't know, you guys probably, if you go to Ulta or Sephora or a lot of, a lot of makeup companies give a free gift around the holiday, whether it's a cute little stocking or some kind of tote. And Stephanie was talking to me about a year and a half ago and said, I think it'd be really great if we were able to give our customers something around the holiday season and also be able to offer the stocking stuffers for, for our customers. So we actually have spent at least a year and a half, thanks to Julie, who's helping us a lot here at Simon, to develop products that are crafty and fit in your stocking. A lot of them I'll show you a little closer when we um, we're gonna chat live with Nina. We've got little glitters. We've got uh, storage for your brushes. We've got ink pads. We've got uh, other little things that will surprise you and delight you throughout the throughout the live. Now I have a microphone in my ear, so I'm a, I'm a little bit distracted, but I, I should remind everybody and tell you, if you don't already know, we have a special guest with us today. And the special guest is actually gonna show some of our storage solutions for the holiday season. So Reed, if now is a good time for you, I think we're gonna invite our special guest, Nina Marie Charpani, who actually helped us develop a lot of these storage solutions for you. Uh, a lot of work involved in making sure the colors are right, the size is right, that the usability is right. And so will you bring Nina in for our lives so she can talk a little bit about these products that we've been curating for all of our crafty friends this holiday season and really, really year round. So exactly. welcome. Welcome, Hello. Nina. Hello. How are Good you? Good morning. How are you doing today? 
I'm really excited. Today's a really fun day because we get to we get to talk about some of our cool stuff that we've been working on. And I think pretty much everything you're going to show, you've had a hand in developing. So it's extra fun that you get to be here and show it to people while we're live on screen. And through the magic of technology, you're in Massachusetts, I I'm am. in Ohio, and <laughs> we get to be together for life. And hopefully we have people all over the world. I see Daniel is joining us. I'm, I'm not sure. I think he might be from overseas. We've got, oh, Asta. We've got people from all over the world joining us today. So Nina, welcome, and I'm gonna give you the floor, and I think Reed's Fantastic. gonna work his magic so you can show some of the products you've been working on. Would love to. Reed, we ready to go over to the desk? Sure are, switching now. All right. So we have here, literally, it's a rainbow of happiness on this desk. I think one of the things I'm most excited about for the holiday season because they're just so beautiful are our glitz glitter gels. We worked really hard in developing a beautiful custom assortment of rainbow glitz glitter gels. And I love, by the way, storing them in these positively everything clear storage boxes. And I'll show you those a little bit later as we go on. But these gels are just so creamy and they have such a beautiful glimmery glitz to them. And I put them all out on a swatch for you so you could really get a good look at how oh. they look as they dry. And they also are really cool because they will maintain their shape. If you put them on really thick, they're gonna keep that shape, which is really fun for a lot of techniques. They work well with stencils too, as you can see here. I have this beautiful boho circle stencil that I just put a little bit of that purple paste on and it just shimmers. It's so pretty. So these are really good for Christmas gifts or for Christmas card projects. They just make a great all around useful tool and embellishment for your cards. So what I do is I take this positively everything clear storage box and I like to keep my glitz glitter gels in there. You can see they all fit nicely. And I even keep a uh, palette knife in the box. So that way, all I have to do is just grab this entire box and just start crafting. It's really convenient. And it's a really fun way to be able to hold all these things together. So let's talk a, a little bit more about those positively everything clear storage box. I'll move these out of the way a little bit. So we developed these as a good storage solution for holding your A2 sized products. So what does that mean? Well, that could be anything from your Susie's watercolor cards. These actually happen to be our tag version of those cute little cards. These are great for making little tags for your gifts this season. I think these are just so adorable. So you could get a whole of these out of your pocket and be able to color these with your family and friends and create some really cute tags for your gifts. So we developed these boxes to hold something like our watercolor cards because we didn't have a storage solution for those. So in tandem with the box, we also created the storage pockets. These are clear pockets. These fit perfectly inside of the box and you can fit at least 10, 15 of these into these boxes. It all depends on how full you make the sleeves, but they're also great for things like your sentiment strips. I don't know if you're like me, but I like to cut my sentiment strips apart like all at once. And so then I end up with all these little pieces floating around that I haven't used. Oh, yet. yes. And so then it's so hard to be able to maintain them and keep them all together. And then I lose them or then I don't remember what set it came from. So this allows me to have a place to be able to keep these contained and all together. And I always know where they are and I can just grab them and keep crafting. So that was one of the reasons why we wanted these boxes was to be able to help store these tools but these boxes can be adapted to however you like to craft maybe you like to go on crops and go maybe take your crafting supplies with you to a friend's house or whatever you can put tools in here you could put everything from markers our blending brushes we've got adhesive in here you have all sorts of options for storing tools and then taking them with you when you go someplace. So that's really helpful, especially if you're working on a project and you want everything all together, this will help you keep them in, in one place. 
And the other thing that's really nice about these is that because they're plastic, if you've got an inky brush like I have here inside of this box, this is cleanable. So you can easily wipe this box out if you get it dirty. So it's really nice for messy stuff too. Now another thing, especially thinking about the holidays, is these boxes can be used to help you organize for Christmas. So what I'm doing this year is I've got a box for my Christmas cards and I've got a box that has some envelopes and I've got a set of stamps and I've even got a pen in here and I'm going to use these to help me fill out my Christmas cards this year. So that way as I'm sitting on the couch or relaxing I have these all together. I can pick up my boxes, take them over to the Christmas tree and enjoy filling these cards out but then also keep them organized and all together so I don't lose anything. So I'm trying to show you that you have a lot of options with these boxes. They're good for more than just what we intended to create with them. Quick now, question the boxes, about the brushes, Nina. Yes, go ahead. Uh, are the blending brushes foam or bristles? They are bristles. So I'll talk a little bit more about these as we go along, but our Simon Says Stamp blending brushes are a very high quality bristle. And we worked really hard in finding a nice bristle that was going to stay soft all the time, that was going to put ink down very evenly on your project, and that they weren't going to get crusty over time if you leave your ink on the brushes. I do this all the time. As you can tell by all the brushes I have here, I hardly ever clean them. And that to me is very important, maintaining a good bristle even after you've let the ink sit on there for a long period of time. Nina, can I interject too? Of course. One of the other things I, I really like about these storage boxes, I, I know Sherry Carroll worked really hard with us to get the right size and to make sure they opened and were yep. easily and closed easily and they were the right size for all of these things because it was important that they were versatile. But Absolutely. if you guys can see Nina's screen right in front, she has, this is how it comes to you. We actually are we're able to condense the packaging. It, they're, they're really easy to assemble these boxes. We, and we even have a little, not even a minute video uh, on the website along with this listing to show you how to assemble this box. I, I promise you, it's not intimidating at all. And I am the person that does not like to assemble anything. And in a few quick steps, it was really easy to assemble. Because of that, we are able to offer you three boxes she has in her hand three unassembled boxes and they are only seven dollars and 99 cents so you get three of these storage boxes for seven dollars and 99 cents you don't need any glue you don't need any tape they just assemble with a few tuck and folds so i thought that was really exciting that we were able to bring something so affordable and so useful and it's really nice quality to everybody and I, I'm just really proud that we were able to do that. So I thought it was worth while you were talking about the utilitarian uses of it, Nina, that I touched a little bit about the pricing too. Absolutely, and the other thing I was gonna mention too is that this insert that comes inside of this box also has picture instructions on the back for easy assembly too. So between the video and this insert, you are have, gonna have no problems at all assembling these boxes. They're really honestly very simple. And as Heidi mentioned, the quality of them, they are a very heavy plastic. You are not going to be able to break these very easily. They are very heavy duty and they also will hold a lot of items because we main, made the assembly of the box as the bottom. This is one whole piece and it is supported by the sides. So nothing is ever gonna fall through the bottom of the box. There is no seam down here. This is all supported by the whole entire box itself. And the box measures 5.5 inches by 6.25 inches and Assembled. it's two inches deep or thick however you want to say it correct all and right while we're talking about the boxes uh yeah. quick question are there plans for larger boxes in the future if people I want don't. them sure yeah, we, we would love we to be able to offer yet. more sizes last interruption go ahead nina Okay, <laughs> well in addition to that kind of storage, I wanna show you one more that is so helpful. So what I'm holding here are our Simon Says Stamp Positively Everything cardstock sleeves. 
These are again a very heavy duty plastic. I'm going to take the paper out just for a second so you can see how this looks without anything in it. So of course we have our adorable Simon logo in the bottom in our signature teal color. But the thing to look at with these particular sleeves are two things. One, we have a very heavy duty stitching on the side so that these will hold together as you're working with them for a long time to come, pulling your paper in and out. This is going to hold up. The plastic is also, like I said, heavy duty, so you're not gonna have to worry about this ripping. It's a little thicker in the back to help support the weight of the paper. And then the front is a little bit more thinner so that way it's easily flexible for you to get in and out of the sleeve. And while we're talking about that, there is a little curved indention here at the top. That's very helpful because as you're slipping your fingers in here to pull your paper out, having that little indention there is really nice. One other thing we did do in the development of these sleeves, and this was something Sherry Carroll actually asked for specifically. If you look at the corners of our pockets here, they're rounded. And this is so that way your fingers get protected as you're working with this. You're not gonna get cut by the plastic. So this is a really nice soft thing on your fingers. You're not gonna have to worry about that. So what do we use these for? Well, cardstock. Our cardstock is like gold for us crafters. We use it for everything. And we always wanna make sure that it's protected. We don't want any dents on the corners or it getting bent or maybe inky if you have this out on your desk. This is really good for that. You can store up to, I would say, comfortably 15 sheets of 100 weight cardstock. Um, if you have something a little bit thinner, you could probably get at least 20 sheets in here. So it's all gonna depend on the thickness of your paper, how much you're gonna be able to store in here. But I have an entire pack of our white gloss of cardstock in here. I'm using another one for our gold, and this actually has a lot more than just one pack of gold cardstock because I stocked up on that. We have silver, and I also have a whole bunch of our holographic rainbow cardstock in this one. Again, this is more than just one pack. So you can see I've got a lot of paper in here, and I even have some cut sheets down at the bottom. So these are really good for keeping your cardstock organized, but also too, because they are made of plastic, they're easily cleanable. So you're gonna protect your paper as you're working, and you'll be able to wipe up any messes that you might get left behind. Now, when you purchase one of these, you'll get six sleeves and they're sized at nine and a half by 12 inches. So they're comfortably gonna fit your eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock. So you'll get six in a pack. And these are really, really helpful for organizing your cardstock. Okay, so another thing that we came out with here at Simon's Stamp for organizing, and these have been very popular since we released these, these are our mesh bags. Now these are a really nice, comfortable size they can fit everything from bulky tools to uh, cardstock, ink pads, brushes, whatever you want to put in here, you can put a lot. And to prove that, I have a bag here that is filled with our December monthly card kit. This is the Santa's Elves, or Santa's Helpers kit. And there is a whole lot of bulky stuff in here. We've got some bubbles, I've got a trowel and a glue bottle in here. I've got a little sparkle pen. Of course, we've got cardstock, pattern paper, the stamp set. There is a whole bunch of stuff in this bag. And I think what I really think is nice about having these mesh bags is that they contain a project you're working on, your kit, whatever it is that you're trying to store, this is a really good storage solution. So going back to talking about going on crops or traveling to see friends, and you want to take craft supplies with you, between the mesh bag and our positively clear box, these two things I think you're going to find super helpful for when you're traveling and taking your craft supplies with you on the go. So these are awesome, and I love using these mesh bags for literally everything. I'm traveling for the okay. Thanksgiving holiday, and I am definitely bringing some of my mesh bags with some crafty things for not just the transportation time, but for when I get there. So I can craft you know what they're also good for? I actually gave some to my mom, and uh, she's using them to organize school supplies for my youngest sister. So even that, like you, you can have multiple uses, more than just crafting. You can use them outside the house, too. Good tips, Nina. You're doing a great yeah. job. Oh, thanks. So Heidi gave me a little bit of a heads up here before the live. You have here 
our entire rainbow of our very popular Positively Everything tool. Now we currently sell these Positively Everything rainbow tools in a bundle with our mesh bag. And Heidi, we have a special uh, like limited time promotion going on with these, don't we? We do. Now, if you were watching Instagram stories today, I alluded to the fact that we had some specials only being shown today during this live, and this is one of them. These, this whole rainbow of PETs, Positively Everything Tools, are half price only for a few hours today while we're live and for a few hours after we're live. So this, we wanted to try to do something special for people who were able to get in on live with us. And we just took our most popular product, these tools, and said, let's do a half price sale and do something fun and special. I, we're seeing a lot of people doing their holiday specials early this year. It's earlier and earlier. I mean, I saw some uh, for Target already hitting yesterday. So I thought, you know what? Everybody's looking for something fun and special. Let's let's do it. So that's, that's it. what we're doing today, Nina. And these are going back to stocking stuffers. That is a great tool for more than just the crafter too. I mean, as a crafter, I'm gonna show you some things that these tools are great for, but these can be given to friends and family as gifts for Christmas. These are great as a jar opener or as a coaster. I actually gave one to my grandfather in the blue color. He thought it was really cool. So I said, here, you have one. You can use it at home. So these are great for more than just crafters. And these would be a good gift for somebody, even a, a dog lover. Somebody would, with a pet would love to have these too, I think. So well, one of the reasons why, I don't know, you, you're probably going to show, are you going to show how to use those? I'm about to do that right now. <laughs> okay, while you're getting ready to show, I'll talk about yeah. my favorite use for the PETs. When I'm crafting, almost, I mean, I can't think of a time I'm crafting when I don't have a drink, whether it's a water or a coffee or a hot chocolate, even wine. Uh, I've been trying this new thing where you can pour a little tequila over a big ice cube, and that's a nice little <laughs> drink. Reads over there laughing. But when you're crafting, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, I, it's, I'm sure it has, you get the sweat or the condensation off of your drink mm -hmm. on the table. And when we're paper crafting, if a little bit of that condensation gets on our project or our card, it, it essentially ruins it, unless we're watercoloring and then, you know, very rarely does it go in exactly the place we'd want it to go. And who wants coffee on their uh, watercolor? But it, it is a coaster for anybody to use and a jar opener for your pickles or your salad dressing, whatever you like. And Nina, I'm gonna stop talking so you can show what I think you're setting up for too. Yeah. Well, speaking of jars, I'm a messy crafter and I will, I'll show you here. These are really good grippers and this is still clean because I haven't had the chance to make it a total disaster yet. But when your jar gets all that gunky glitter or whatever, especially something like paste, I'm constantly getting paste and stuff on the edges of my jars because I'm just a mess. So what is really nice is that this fits in the palm of your hand and then you can just take it and allow that jar opener to give you the grip that you need to help pull that lid off. And you don't have to go running to the kitchen to go find a jar opener. You've got a cute one sitting right here that does a lot of other things too. So I, that's one of the things I love about these is that they have such a good grip and it allows me to get through my messy jars because I just create a mess. <laughs> so another thing I love about these is the fact that they are such a good non-skid surface for your ink pads. And what do I mean by that? Well, when we're sitting there working on our blending and let's say we've got a stencil and we're trying to hold that stencil down. Well, if you don't have something underneath the ink pad, the ink pads are gonna go places. They're gonna go sliding and then you're gonna have to try to grab it with your hand, but then you've now taken your hand off of your stencil, which then shifts and then it becomes a mess, right? Well, if you have a tool like this, you can take your blending brush, you can take your ink pad and on top of that surface, the ink pad is staying right there. So now you can ink up your brush and your hand is still on your project so it's not moving and you can keep on blending. And that leaves one hand completely free to maintain your project while the other hand is using the brush and the ink pad isn't going anywhere. So that's, I think, one of the things I love most about these is that it helps me in so many different ways besides just one use. 
So these are useful tools for a variety of things in your craft room. Another thing I like to do with them is I put them into a cereal bowl, fill it with water, and because these have a little bit of a texture to them, you can see they've got some relief. That allows you to get between the bristles of your brushes. So you can clean things, whether that's watercolor brushes, your blending brushes. If I pull out a blending brush here and then go ahead and rub this. If you can see here, it's getting in between there. And with just a little bit of soap and water, you can clean your brushes really, really nice. And it's gonna get all that ink off, but it got into the tight areas of the bristles. So that's really, really helpful too. And so having a tool that can do more than one thing is always nice because then you're not having to buy many, many tools to do all the things. You've got one tool that does everything. And by the way- I thought of another oh, thing. Oh, I wanna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, two more things. It's no wonder this, this is our best-selling product right now. It's no wonder. If you have a hot tip on your glue gun or your yep. embossing gun, you can um, place it on. This is These paws are made out of silicone, so it's a surface that protects um, something hot. Do you know what Correct. I mean? Like you don't want to put the tip be. of your um, glue gun onto a jar or anything plastic on your uh, workspace. If you put that on your silicone PET, it protects it. And also, glue, a lot of you guys have those glue holders that store your glue upside down so that while you're crafting, you don't have to shake the glue to the tip. You can put your glue on these too. And since they're silicone, they it just peels right off once it's dry. Instead of you having to like scrape the glue off of your glass mat, uh, it just peels right off of the silicone. So again, it's no wonder these are our best selling products right now. Good stocking stuffers. Do you know another thing these are good for too? Going back Oh my to gosh, I promise we didn't plan this guys. Go ahead, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love chatting with you. Okay, so when I'm heat embossing, do you know what I do? I put my project on top of the little PET, and then I take my heat tool, and I can heat emboss oh. right on top of the PET, and I'm not burning my fingers, because you know, you're holding your project, and you're trying to heat it up, and I'm like, ah, it's hot. That happens to me all there. the time. I never thought of that. How about that? So that's another thing I like to do with so yeah, they're, they're helpful. I love them. And I love the fact that we came out with such a fun rainbow of colors too. So speaking of the rainbow, I got one more thing I want to show you. And that is our new blending brush holder. Now you guys have been asking for storage solutions ever since we came out with our rainbow of blending brushes. So we've got the large size and the small size. And as you can see, this fits pretty much every single brush. The only brushes I don't have in here are the brown. So all of your brushes will fit in here. They're great for being able to hold them inside here and display them, but it's also great for keeping them off your desk and rolling around as you're trying to work. You can just pick out the color you want, blend, and put it back, pull out the next one. So it's a really nice and helpful tool. So the unique design with this is that this is silicone here and it's flexible. So which means you can fit different size things into those holes. They'll move to fit the larger items. So because of that, that means you can store other things in this too. So I have here a variety of well-used and most loved tools, something like our glue, our craft tacky glue. As you can see, I've crushed it because I use it all the time. We've got a uh, bone folder, and we also have our Tim Holtz craft pick, scissors, tweezers. I have all sorts of tools in here. And because these silicone areas are flexible, I can fit different size things in there. So this is a really useful tool because you can use it for more than one thing. And I think that's one of the things as crafters we like because we can then have more options to choose from. And as Heidi likes to say, she loves options. <laughs> that's, that is my favorite saying. What do you like? <laughs> I like options. So this is also a good stocking stuffer. It's small. It's not a super large tool. Uh, just to quick give you a measurement, it's about eight by two inches. So it's got a nice, footprint for holding a lot of things, but it's not going to take up a ton of space and you could slip this into a stocking too. 
So that's what I have to share with you all. I have shown you a many wide range of our Simon Says Stamp organizational tools and hopefully showing you some of the ways I like to use them is helpful for you in deciding whether or not you want them yourself or maybe you know of somebody who would benefit from having them. I hope I've shown you some good ideas and inspiration for using our exclusive line of organization tools. Reed, do Great we job. To Great job, Nina. To... I saw somebody asked about the yeah. um, the uh, sale we're having on the PETs right now. You don't yeah. need a coupon code for it. You just look at those on our website and they're automatically reduced by 50%, actually more than 50% because you get a mesh bag along with the rainbow. So you don't need a special coupon code. If you've got a code, you can add it on to your cart actually. So yes. It's that time of year. Thank you, Nina. You do did a really any, nice job. Do we have any questions? Nope, but you answered all of your questions. You were very thorough. Thank you. Oh, good. Glad to hear it. Switching back to both of you. I think that's what happens, Nina, when we are a craft business that is really run by crafters. Yes. And it comes through in these products that we develop is we think, what would we want? What, how would we want this tool to work? And wouldn't we want it to have more than one use? And you've done a really good job, along with Sherry, developing products that make sense for us to use. So thank you so very much. I it's, hope everybody's enjoying them as much as we all are. I agree. Well, thanks for joining us today, Nina. I think we're gonna bid adieu to you. I've got some projects here that I'm gonna showcase for our audience and talk a little bit more about some other things we have going on for next week for the holiday week. Wonderful. Well, thank so. you for letting me show everything off. Thanks, Nina. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. I am so lucky to get to work with these people, so. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're really grateful that you're joining us live today. Stay tuned because we do have a way that you can get, speaking of storage, this brand new storage pouch. In the meantime, I'm gonna have Reed switch the camera over to my up close and personal camera. I did wanna show everybody, I'm gonna get this out of my ear since Nina's not on. I did want to show you guys this storage box. Nina mentioned the instructions for how to assemble it are also in the packaging. Uh, and I keep all of my Simon brushes in that box. So this was a happy accident. When I got my box prototype, I also had my brushes on my desk and thought, I wonder how many brushes I can fit into this box. Well, we can fit every single Simon Says Stamp current colored brush in the large size and the small size. And one other little fun fact that Nina didn't talk about today, but we've talked about other days. When you get a Simon Says Stamp brush, you'll notice our brushes come to you with this little plastic protective case on it. And that's so in shipping and transit, your bristles don't get misshapen or damaged. Uh, you can choose to keep those storage uh, cases on your brushes or you can uh, take them off and leave them off. Now, if you're gonna store your brushes in this box for transport or just keep them in here to slide them in a drawer, uh, you wouldn't probably wanna put those on. I don't, I guess it's, you know what? It's personal preference. And I'm gonna get my desk cleared off because I wanna show you guys some inspiration that we have here at Simon Says Stamp. What happens is whenever we have a release at Simon Says Stamp, we take the products that are in that release and we mail the products to our family of designers. And then, voila, magic happens. Our family of designers sends us back finished projects using the products that we sent. So here is a set of our new stencils. These are part of our handmade holiday release. It was released last week. You actually get a set of two. And I've got some cards showcasing some of the things you can do. Is my camera, oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera, no wonder, okay. Can you guys see that all okay? So this is our a new handmade holiday uh, stencil set. 
exclusive to Simon Says Stamp. So you can only find these at Simon. And here are some pieces of inspiration that our designers have created. This one is by Noreen. She actually used the new Simon Says Stamp Glit Glitter Gel to create this. These glitters work great with stencils. So you'll notice as I'm showcasing this release, there's actually a lot of stencils in it. And we did that on purpose because we wanted to be able to have you using the, the new glitz gels with something. So this is our new, did I keep calling this snowflake? Peppermint, yeah. candy cane, candy cane. I tell you, you get nervous. Like, do you guys ever have that where you get in front of people and you, you knew what you were gonna say, but then you get in front of that person or that group of people or you go into the meeting and you're, all of a sudden your brain just kind of has this little bit of a brain, I don't know, my son would call it a brain fart, but I don't know if I should actually say that while I'm live on camera, but I guess it's too late now, I already did. Uh, this is a new product for Simon Says Stamp uh, packaged together. So these are large tags, perfect for this time of year. We're reintroducing these tags to you. You get two tags, perfect. They even have a little hole in them. So you run these through your die machine and you can make your own tags, right? Right. Well, we stepped it up a notch this year. We actually also created, now this was designed by Susie Plantamura, drew these tags. We printed them, they come to you in this plastic casing to keep them protected and you get a whole set of them. There's two of each design, and you'll notice that the shape of the designs match and coordinate with these dies. That way, you can color your own tag and then cut it out. There's the assortment. Now, you can leave them black and white, you can color them, you can watercolor them. We actually printed these on a special Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock is what they're printed on. So you can watercolor very easily, or you can use a Copic marker, a crayon, any marker, a pencil, watercolors in general. You can use your reinkers to color these. And I have two beautiful samples, both made by Susan Opal. Susan is in the chat today. Hi, Susan, everybody wave to Susan. Thank you for making these. Like I said, it's really magic when we have these products and then we get to send them to our designers all over the world. Susan is in Utah. Fun fact, I work here at Simon Says Stamp with my brother, Kevin. He, you probably, unless you come to one of our events, you probably haven't seen Kevin. He's not on camera very often. But Susan actually works with her sister. So she works with a sibling as well. So Susan and Beth Opal are both here at Simon Says Stamp and Beth, is moderating in our chat right now, providing links for us for the products that I'm showing you. And here is another wider assortment of tags. These are made by Sherry Carroll. And so what Sherry did is she actually um, cut out her tags. She didn't use those watercolor cards. She just created her own tags, a beautiful assortment of tags. Because these are so popular, we actually have them available separately as well. So you could also, you could get just the large standard tag, you could get just the large rounded tag, or you could buy them as a set called large tags. We've just, you, you guys heard Nina say earlier, what's my favorite thing? Options. And so in providing these tags packaged to you a variety of ways, we essentially have given you just that, options. Does anybody want to take a guess who designed this card? Barbara Tarayo, who also is in Utah. Actually, I think Susan and Beth, you're in the chat right now. Have you guys gotten together with Barbara to craft? I just think this is such a nice community. People that live near each other are starting to, as we're vaccinated and feel safer and able to get around more, are starting to get together in person with our crafty friends. And so that's a nice crafty friendship. And I'm, I'm showing you this also, this another new stencil, rainbow stencil, rainbow beams, as part of our Simon Says Stamp new release, handmade holiday. Something else in this release is a stamp set 
This one is called Love, Peace, Joy, Rainbow. Kind of an interesting uh, play on rainbow. I don't think you see very many rainbows in your holiday card making, but take a look at what the designers came through. Barbara created this. Barbara also created this. I like how she did traditional and non-traditional colors. She's got a little assortment. I tend to do that. Do you guys do that? When I make my holiday cards this year, I plan on mass producing. I don't know if you, you call it mass producing, but where you take the same concept, but you just do different colors. See how she assorted her rainbows different way. So you can just do the same thing over and over again um, with different colors and different products to keep it fresh while you're mass producing. Callie Person created this card in my hand. She used one of our new 3D embossing folders on this. See that? See how beautiful that is? I think the camera is picking that up. And then, well, this is not part of, I'm trying to do the, oh, yeah, okay. Meg used this stamp set too. I'm sorry I bent that. That's my fault. Uh, look how she actually embossed. Can you tell these trees and cut them out for this beautiful card? And again, the name of this is called Love, Peace, Joy, Rainbows. And we have the coordinating die, which uh, looks like Meg used when she cut out her trees, a uh, coordinating die set. Uh, there we go. Look at look at that stamp timber. If you're watching us now and watch the last live too, you probably heard me talk about stamp timber being on some of our products. Well, you know, today, this day and age, transportation and not just transportation, but production issues are really impacting us all. So we had intended to release that product with stamp timber, but hey, we released it now. It's no problem. First night is this die. How beautiful is that? Callie Person created this card. So if you're looking for, uh, some people like to make their holiday cards very um, Christian or more spiritual, this die is perfect for that because it has the Holy Family. And it is one die, as you can see here. It's really easy to use. And look at the impact that that has. So what Callie did is she created a beautiful watercolor background and then put the negative from this die on the front. I just love this card. Thank you for sending that, Callie. Okay, we've got some more. This one is called Rustic Star. We've got some more stencils in this release. Wanted to make sure we were able to showcase all these beautiful glitz jitter gel glitter gels. And this card is by Noreen Boris, and this card is by Meg Brooks. Beautiful play with that new stencil. Now I talked about how at Simon Says Stamp, we are crafters who are making products, designing, illustrating products for crafters. I think that makes us very special. Nina Marie Trapani designed this, illustrated this, oh my goodness. I want to say at least six months ago, I mean, probably eight months ago now because production times have been taking so long. And so this is a cling stamp. What's really special about this, it's, it was made here in the United States. Even the United States manufacturers are uh, slow in production. There are various reasons. We've got um, labor issues, I think, all around our country. We have product issues, whether it's the plastic casing or the rubber. Now, I don't want to do this on camera because I don't want to um, be too abrupt, but you guys get the gist. So you can actually take this stamp apart. You could leave it together, but you also, options, you hear me about the options? You can take it apart and use it for just its bits and pieces. So this card by Miriam Prantner, see how she just used the Santa and sleigh. And then we have a similar card. Look at this. Tina Smith even put some of her uh, little jingle bells from the Tim Holtz Ideology Collection on this card. And look at the beautiful rainbow effect of this background. So Cindy from CRN Cards. I love that. 
See, when you create a background like that, it just gives you an opportunity to play with your inks or sprays, whatever you're using. Now, speaking of inks, uh, we do have a Simon Says Stamp new set of inks with this handmade holiday release. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, what we do in these new positively saturated inks is we have a color series and we like for people to use them or at least have them available in trio of colors. So we've got a light, a medium, and a dark shade. So we did that with these browns, with these peaches. We also have greens, sprout, fairway, field. We, of course, did it in blue, my favorite. Marine, cadet, and royal, and pinks. So bubblegum, sweets, and taffy. So you don't need all three of them, but if you want to do layered stamping or some kind of background blending and have ombre-ish effects, these inks are available for you to be able to do that. These inks have been crazy popular. We sold out, we did 15 colors for Stamptember and they sold out the very first day. This time we ordered more for this release, Handmade Holiday, but we are already sold out of some of the colors. They're restocking, they're made, uh, they're made here in the United States and they're restocking, they're actually on a truck on the way here from California. So we do have more inks if you see some of them sold out on the website. We do have them um, on the way. So you'll be able to restock yours pretty quickly. Now if you look at these, this is a set of stencils. I actually have them in two separate packages here. But you can use your imagination and see how you can create your own ornaments using these stencils. So we designed them that way on purpose so you could ink blend, no stamping here, you ink blend your ornament and then you can add the effects of dots or stripes and in this card, Barb Angler, thank you Barb for sending this card. Barb runs our Instagram challenge group too. Here's another beautiful card using those ornament stencils. This one's by Noreen. And I, th oh, look at this, Barbara, love it. She actually cut them out as well. Doesn't that add a nice pop of dimension? Oh, that's beautiful. We've got them on the tag. This is by Kathy Zilski. Beautiful, Kathy. Oh my gosh, I did not see these samples. They were, on, they were in a stack. Cindy, again, look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, you can make, oh my gosh, you can make so many things with these stencils. And then take it up a notch and add the glitter gel. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. These are great. And then, I don't know, can you guys see these um, sentiment strips? So is the camera picking up those sentiment strips? So those are actually purchased as black, they're printed on black toner. So when you get those sentiment strips, they look like they're black. Well, you can use them that way, but Kathy Zilski foiled hers, so she turned her sentiment strips uh, silver with a silver foil. We do that on purpose. We print them with a special toner so that they're foilable because we know, especially for the holidays, people are loving their foil. My goodness, foil, foil, foil everywhere. Another stencil, read other questions. I'm sorry, if you guys have questions, please go ahead and, and go in the chat with your questions. No, people are commenting about how excited you're getting. Uh, the one oh. is, what are the inks used uh, what inks are used in the ble blue and green ornaments? All right, let's have to get out. This one. So Noreen Boris made this. Um, I would only speculate what colors she used, but positively everything inks. If you go to our store, you'll see the positively saturated. I would guess one of our C colors, maybe the Cadet, maybe Marine. Uh, Noreen might be able to tell you if you go to her social media, N-O-R-I-N-E, Boris, B-O-R-Y-S. Uh, don't know exactly the shades, but that is a good question. Those are gorgeous. Next question is, will there be re-inkers for the new ink pads? Ooh, should I tell everybody? I should have brought them up here. Uh, yes, we actually, hey Harini, oh my gosh. 
I love the way, Reed, if you want to go to the front camera, we can move to the front camera. I, I think we're going to have to show some of the other samples. Uh, and we have so many samples to show you guys. Inspiration for the season, all season long. We'll have to come back again and show you some of the more, some more of the inspiration. Um, what was the question I was just going to talk about? Inks? Uh, re oh, re-inkers. Okay. Let me get a drink. There you go. Deep breath. Yes. We have re-inkers for the inks. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't going to do re-inkers. I thought, you know, this is where being a crafter, developing crafting supplies gets in the way. I'm a messy crafter. So when I use an ink pad so much that it's dry, by that time, my ink pad is ruined. I've got glue on it. I've got glitter in it. I've bent it, broken it, lost it, mixed blended other colors into it. So pretty much by the time my ink pads are dry, they're useless. Boy, was I wrong. A lot of you crafters keep your craft supplies beautiful and pristine and are careful. Now, mind you, my kids and their friends use my craft supplies. My craft room is an open book for anybody in my house. Well, I wasn't going to do re-inkers, but as soon as we released these ink pads and people started using them, they're really saturated and people are loving them. You guys are loving our inks with blending brushes. And I'll be honest, we designed them to be used with blending brushes. That's why they're so super saturated. Well, if you want to keep them super saturated, a re-inker comes in handy. And the re-inker comes in handy anyway because a lot of people like to watercolor with the re-inkers and they're such beautiful colors. You guys went, I, I can't tell you how many emails, every time I did a live, Reed can attest, how, are you gonna come out with re-inkers? Are you gonna come out with re-inkers? So finally we decided yes, yes, yes. So we've got the labels designed, we've color matched the re-inkers, we've tested the re-inkers and we have them on order. So. I anticipate first quarter of 2023, we will have re-inkers coming. Now we have 30 colors in our new positively saturated line, 30 colors, 15 were released for September, 15 are just released last week that I just showed you. Hey, we didn't stop there. We're only halfway through. We actually developed 60 colors for you and we're bringing them out 15 at a time. And you can see how I store my ink pads. See that little, those are my ink pads back there. Well, those are the ink pads I keep in the office. Those aren't the ink pads I use in my craft room at home, but I keep them nice and organized. So uh, you can easily, will there be a storage system for the inks? Well, I use this. Stampin' Storage has great ink storage solutions. Um, you guys in the chat, some of you, Nina, are you, are you in the chat? There are other great ink storage solutions around. Uh, we sell some of them on our website. If you look for ink storage, you'll see. We don't sell the one behind me because it's really big and heavy. And economically, it just makes more sense for that manufacturer. They're willing to ship directly to you. So if you go to Stampin' Storage website, they'll ship directly to you. So that's the, we do have re-inker storage right now already available on our website. InDesign has some. Uh, there are those little tiered, uh, almost like spice rack clear bins. Mine's downstairs, I'm sorry. But we do have uh, ink, uh, re-inker storage. We already have that because we carry re-inkers for a lot of companies, especially Tim Holtz re-inkers. Those are, those are the most popular. You can store stickles and glitter gels and other things in those clear storage racks, but there's so many storage solutions. Organize More is a storage solution that has great ink pad holders. So many storage solutions available too at Simon Says Stamp. We have category for craft room storage on the top of our website in the drop down bar. And a lot of you are getting your craft room organized for the holiday season. And if you're not now, I bet you after the holiday season, you're probably gonna be, you know, January is just kind of that feel where we all clean out our cupboards, put away our holiday de decorations and, and organize. So keep that in mind when you're doing your organizing that Simon Says Stamp has so many storage solutions available for you. Now, as I'm chatting away, I appreciate the people that are live with me right now that have held through with me live right now. And I wanna make sure I've got my notes buried underneath all this stuff. It's okay, Brian, I promise I won't knock anything on you. Okay, I've got a, a couple things I wanna make sure before I give you our information for how you can get this pouch. 
Uh, let me go through my notes. Reed, have I missed anything uh, during this live? Uh, oh, I missed a lot. <laughs> so the limited edition card kit. The limited edition card kit is available on our website right now. It's, it's a holiday theme. It's different from our monthly subscription. You can find it on the front page of our website. It's probably the first or the second item that you'll see. It is limited supply. I do, ex I do anticipate it's going to sell out this weekend. We only make a limited number because it's really a guessing game. It's like we take our crystal ball to try to figure out how many we're going, how many of the supplies to order. Uh, it's a guessing game. So it's a limited supply. It's a more vintage feel, whereas our monthly subscription, you can see our uh, December card kit of the month is live. Uh, those merry little elves are live on our website too. So I happen to be a kit lover. Again, we're a crafting company run by crafters. I love kits, so we make sure that during the holiday season we have a lot of kits available for you. Now, since you're joining us live, or you might be now on the rewatch, I'll just tell you, we do have more kits coming. We do have a gift card kit again this year, uh, also a tag kit this year. People have asked and asked and asked, and so we made sure that we did another uh, more kits for you uh, as options. Lots of sales coming. We've got a big week next week. As you all know, this is shopping season. They call it Black Friday for a reason. It's probably a trivia question some of you can answer. Do you know why they call it Black Friday? Well, in the United States, we call the Friday after Thanksgiving Black Friday because so many people run sales. A lot of companies all year long operate in what they call the red, which means at a loss. So they haven't even broken even financially for the year. And so during the holidays, the shopping season picks up and they go in the black, which means they finally start to sell enough that they become a profitable business. So many years ago, that'd be a good trivia question, which I don't know the answer to. Uh, we coined here in the United States the term Black Friday. So Black Friday is a day after Thanksgiving. Yes, at Simon Says Stamp, we do have a special sale for Black Friday. However, we also have all kinds of things going on really for the next few weeks. And because you're live today, I'm gonna to tell you about this special thing we have going on. Remember I was telling you that Stephanie, I think it was Ulta, where she was shopping and they were giving away little stockings with a purchase. She loved her stocking and she said, wouldn't it be great if, we, we start a lot of conversations at Simon's to Stamp with, wouldn't it be great if, if we could do something like that? Well, we did. It took a long time because we tested zippers, we tested the size, we wanted to make sure it was durable and nice quality. This one, I don't know if you can tell, even has a glitter on those paws and snowflakes. This is a nice quality material. You can put your markers in it. I, at home, put a lot of my glitter gels in mine because I'm traveling for the holiday and I plan, my goal is to make 100 Christmas cards next week um, during Thanksgiving. And so you can store these little glitters. So anyhow, if you want this pouch, it's a $12.99 value. But if you use this code, you might want to screenshot this. Uh, you, with a $75 purchase, will get this for free. Can you guys read my code? S-N-T-A-S-M-R-T. That's the code. With a $75 purchase, whatever you want at Simon Says Stamp, like if you buy our inks, here you go. Storage, this is a nice storage pouch. We're going to be running this promotion while supplies last. I won't even tell you how many thousands and thousands of these we've ordered because we want this promotion to last a few weeks. Uh, you get first dibs on it right now because you're joining us live. We're not going to tell everybody else about this promotion until next week. So you get an early, early shopping for, for that promotion. And don't forget, if you want our PETs in every color, our most popular item, we're running them half off right now. Actually, a little more than half off right now. You don't even need a code for that. Just come to the store and get those PETs for your stocking stuffers. Reed, do we have any other questions that I forgot about or got Two more things. distracted? First one, if you're looking for more handmade holiday inspiration, today we have an Instagram app. Yeah, got your handy dandy phone? Go to Instagram, Simon Says Stamp on Instagram. We started an Instagram hop, which means 
several designers from around the world posted something they've created with this handmade holiday release. These, some of these products I've showed you today and more, and then some, they've created inspiration for you on that Instagram hop. There, you said there's another one too, Reed. There's another one, but another one came in through. Will there be mystery boxes again on Black Friday? Do you want me to tell them, Reed? You can tell them. Yes. Yes, Reed has spent the last few weeks with a crew of people assembling crafty parcels. And you know what? We probably should, gosh, we can't really go live for those crafty parcels. Um, I'll just, and they're, actually, they're all sealed up, so that would be hard to show. This year's crafty parcels are the best crafty parcels ever. And you know why? We took our most popular products at Simon Says Stamp and have an abundance of them, ordered an abundance of them, and put them in crafty parcels. We put in all kinds of products, brushes, I mean, you wanna say, brushes, stamps, dies. We did not put coordinating dies this year. That was the feedback you guys gave us last year. You're like, I got a coordinating die, but now I gotta go hunt down the stamp set. Well, you know, you could get maybe creative and figure out how to use those coordinating dies. But this year, we didn't, we're not doing that. This year, we've got really, popular product. It's over $300 retail value. And I think our crafty parcels, Stephanie texted me this morning, because uh, we just finished the graphics, are $59.99. And I promise you, those crafty parcels are loaded. And Reed, can you confirm? Well, actually, I'll tell you guys how this happens. Every year during Stamp Timber, you know, we run a limited number of stamp sets so once they're gone, they're gone. Well, for a customer service, to have healthy customer service, we always have a couple of extra, two, three, four extra of every design in case there's a return or something gets lost in the mail or something gets damaged or there was a production. So we try to have a couple extra of everything. Well, by now it's the end of November and we don't need those extras. So Reed had the brilliant idea. Every crafty parcel he made, he put in one Stamp Timber exclusive. So every crafty parcel, we had enough that every crafty parcel got a Stamp Timber exclusive. Well, you guys know how we had enough because we had so many brands for Stamp Timber this year and last year. So we made sure, so those crafty parcels, I guess is what I'm trying to say, are super sweet. I'll tell you, the first year we did them, they sold out in six or eight seconds. So the next year, I think we started doing them six years ago. The next year we made some more and they lasted at least 10 minutes. We do this for Black Friday. And yes, we are doing this again for Black Friday. They lasted a few minutes and so we made more the next year and it lasted a few hours. Last year it lasted a little longer than that, uh, but this year we weren't able to make as many as we did last year because we made them extra juicy, I guess if that's the word, extra juicy and included a Stamp Timber exclusive. So we don't have as many this year, uh, but I know they'll sell out quickly and I just wanna warn you, that's our big Black Friday. Uh, that's the biggest thing probably for Black Friday that gets you guys so excited. And we wanna make, make sure to do it again and make it, we try to make it even better every year. So that's how we made it better this year. Aren't you glad you asked that question? Cause I can go on and on and on and on. Last question. When is the next time we will, we will be going live? Am I allowed to tell everybody? I think so. Okay, so tomorrow, Tim Holtz is going to be going live on his YouTube channel. He is going to be showcasing a lot of his Christmas stamps and holiday stamps and some of the other products he has that are great for the holidays. Tim's our wives are wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I, I do not miss them. I guess, I guess the hint will be Simon Says Stamp will be going live on Cyber Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern time. So early on Cyber Monday, we have a special surprise for you. And we will be live and we may or may not have a special guest who will be helping us reveal that live. So I think I said all that I can say and still keep it a surprise. I love surprises. I like for you guys to be surprised. And on Cyber Monday, uh, it's not a discount, 
but it is a wonderful surprise for all of you. And uh, we will be announcing it at 8 a.m. Eastern time with our special guest. Oh, some people might not know when Cyber Monday is. Cyber Monday is November 29th. So November 29th at 8 a.m. Eastern. I mean, in some time zones, that's really early. Like in Tim Holtz's time zone, that's like 6 a.m. Oh my gosh, I might be in my pajamas for that live. Uh, but that's when we'll be going live next. Were there any other questions or anything we should talk about while we're going? Uh, mm -hmm. Nope, that is it. Uh, thank, every, thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you. We get to do this because of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't be shy. Keep telling us what you like, what you love, what you want, and we will do our best to make it happen for you. Happy holiday crafting season. I can't wait to see what everybody's sharing on social media. Thank you for joining us.